Welcome to t a n w i n News n o t Today Headlines. s u s t a i n a b l e development of craft releases associated with green technologies. Comprehensive free innovating education and training. Exchange experiences on digital transformation. First, local s t a m a d a t i news. On August 22nd, the provincial association with the craft village, the provincial cooperatives, alliance, and the executive boards of the projects Biomass Gasification Technologies, a sustainable energy solution for agri food processing and waste management in rural areas of Vietnam, organized a conference on sustainable development on craft villages in Taiwan's province associated with the application of green technologies. The conference attracted over 200 delegates, representatives of cooperatives and craft villages in the province. At the conference, the delegates focused on discussing solutions on sustainable development of craft villages, transferring and applying digital transformation in production in craft villages. Promotes the roles of artisan, skilled workers, as well as develops craft villages associated with tourism and building new rural area. In addition, the delegates were also informed about the situation of quality economic development, how to access the capital from the Cooperative Development Support Fund. On the afternoon of August 22nd, the Admissions Council of Taiwan Universities announced the scores of college and universities entrance exam for the first phase of 2023. Accordingly, the high scores are the majors and training programs of the universities of education and the universities of medicine and pharmacy. Taiwan Universities According to the enrollment plan of the Ministries of Education and Training, candidates who were directly recruited need to confirm their admission before August 15th. As the candidates confirm their admission online on the system of the Ministry of Education and Training from 5 p.m. September the 9th. According to the plan, in 2023, the Fatherland Front Committee of Foreign City receives an allocation. Over 700 million dollars to support the construction of over 12 new houses and repair five sorority houses. By August 2023, the city Fatherland Front has completed the construction of four houses and repaired one house, handling it over to poor households and putting it into you. The handover of sorority house is a human program showing the concern and care of the Fatherland Front. All level branches and the whole society for the poor, encouraging poor households in improving their lives, hunger eradication, and poverty alleviation, and join hand in building new rural areas and urbanization in each locality. On August 22nd, the Department of Education and Training of Taiwan Province held a conference to summarize the 2022-2023 school year and launch the task for new school year 2023-2024. Mr. Dan Sun Chung, standing by chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, representative of the department's branches, attended the conference. In the school year 2022-2023, the education sector of Taiwan's province has implemented many solutions to improve the quality of comprehensive education. The education sector of Taiwan's province continues maintaining the results of preschool university license for five years old children. Improving the quality of education, universalization at level 3, universalization of secondary education at level 2, and eradication of illiteracy at level 2. The work of building happy, safe, and friendly schools was paid much attention. Last skill education and extracurricular activity has been implemented effectively as a national exam to select excellent students. Taiwan's province ranks the 15th among provinces and cities nationwide. In the school year 2023-2024, the education sector of Taiwan's province continued to implement the programs of preschool education, general education, promoting digital transformation, administrative reform in the whole education sector. Speaking at the conference, the standing vice chairman of the province of people committees highly appreciated the result achieved by the whole education and training success over the part time 
and at the same time suggested the whole sector continue to carry out the aside tasks focused on well implementing the immersion movement of good teaching, good learning, develops a plan on vocational education and orientation for students, attracting more investment resources in education and training. Taiwan Department of Transport has requested all railroad units to strictly implement regulation to ensure traffic safety during the national holiday on September the 2nd and the opening day of new school year 2023-2024. Accordingly, the Department of Transport requires all passengers, transport stations, companies to ensure human resources and means to serve customers. Least freight rates collect fares and sell tickets in accordance with the regulation. The bus station need to strictly follow the process of inspecting and controlling transportation means entering and leaving the station. Strengthen the propaganda of the laws on traffic orders and safety to enterprises and transportation companies. Strictly handle transportation violations. Recently, the delegation of Nha Trang City, Particum D, Khánh Hoa Province, paid a visit to Thành City to exchange experiences on digital transmission. Recently, Thành City has focused on investing in technical infrastructures, speeding up the reforms of administrative procedures, building digital government, developing the digital economies and digital societies, investing nearly $45 billion, to build a smart urban management centers and a camera system to monitor urban artists and safety. Conduct online meetings to connect with 32 communes, with and operating rooms at the Sangwen City Police. At the meeting, Nhachang City leaders hope that the two cities would continue to promote solidarities and cooperation in our fields, especially in digital information, therefore improving the efficiencies of administration and bringing about many practical benefits to citizens. Dinghua District not only has tourism potential but also has many traditional craft villages that are in need of restoration and development. This locality has been paying much attention to linking craft villages with community based tourism. Thanks to the favorable conditions of soils, waters, and climates, Teachers have existed for a very long time in Dinghua safety zone. Dinghua is also one of the four lucky tea regions of Taiwan's province. Dinghua tea makers always try to improve the qualities of their product, and tourism has always been identified as an important factor to spread the tea brand of Dinghua to tourists. Food that tea agriculture cooperatives had two tea products recognized as Oak of Three Star. Visitors coming to tea areas will have a chance to experience the progress from harvesting to waxing tea products. In addition to teas, Ding Hua also has a number of traditional crafts that are being restored. The beauty of Tai has has attracts the attention of many medias and tourist groups. This product also won a high price in the province tourism product design contest in 2022. Although there have been ups and downs during decades, the craft of waving palm nets in Dongting communes is still being maintained by local people. Making palm nets gives a more stable and regular income than rye farming. It can be said that building traditional craft village is one of the solutions to help local people step by step confirm the position of their produce and help its other develop. For the district risks in tourism's potential like Dinghua, traditional craft villages are believed to attract destinations for tourists. It requires the localities to make more reasonable investment, contributing to diversify development of the tourism industries creating the own unique features of the revolutionary land in Ding Hoa safety zone. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and see you next time.